do you want to talk about something specific? Uh, sure, I'll do it in 16 seconds. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I dated someone, I fell in love, we were trying to have a baby, it turned out he was a con man, he stole from me, he lied to me, cheated on me, um, we broke up because of that. Ten weeks later I found out he was engaged to another friend of mine and it turns out she is now the fifth person in my community who's doing this too. I was the third. And so when I think about him, or I'm going to a place where he might now potentially be, it I want him to die. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really, not, not really. But I, if they crashed and burned, that would be okay. <laughs> and it's, and it's hard. Uh, but, but it really did open up. To, it really did unfold well. We really were in love, and that was really lovely. And now there's other many amazing men and opportunities coming into my universe at just so, the right time. But, so, but that part of it is hard. Ha so having having lived that experience over a period of a little bit of time, mm -hmm. what's the if if we were if you could give us one uh, or at least a brief emotional description what is it of the experience itself was it i was betrayed or was it i was duped or was mm -hmm. it i was unaware was it my guidance wasn't in tune in other mm -hmm. words who are you beating up on more him or you uh yeah it, it, it's the guidance it's because it felt so good in the all right beginning. so so <clears throat> so are you saying that it's it's wrong to fall in love of course is that wrong guidance are you saying that are you saying that there were no elements of what's in your vortex present in this person there, there certainly were so what you're saying is but there were elements present in that person mm -hmm. that you you missed right and and as a result of missing them so so though so those the con the con man <laughs> taking advantage of you right. uh, um culmination you didn't see it in the beginning do you believe it was active in the beginning well i mean he lied about every every everything that he said that he was like a serial business owner that was just all completely untrue he actually had never done any of the things he said he had done but he had come to me through my community which well the is, reason the reason that we're so, asking yeah. the questions is because we want to help you to shore up mm -hmm. your mm, belief in yourself right. in what you're attracting mm -hmm. and uh, ha has anything like that ever happened to you before <laughs> So, no. <laughs> so, and are you telling us that you, that you are, uh, you, do you believe that you are continually moving up in the world in, in terms of finances? Oh, yes. I do am. you believe that you will always be at the heart of multi-million dollar enterprises? Yes. Do you believe that you'll be out in the world where there will always be all kinds of others who are attracted to you for all kinds of reasons yes. <laughs> do you yes. believe that sometimes they're attracted to your heart sometimes they're attracted to your vibration sometimes they're attracted to the shiny things you have around you mm -hmm. sometimes they're attracted to what you might offer to them in other words there are all kinds of reasons that that people m target you or focus on you mm -hmm. so so do you believe that an experience like this has left you feeling more guarded or less guarded um uh, more I'm tightening in my ranks a little bit so not, not a ton but a bit well the reason that we are asking that is because a, a an experience like this serves you enormously well mm -hmm. in these ways if you can acknowledge that there are many aspects that were a positive match for you mm -hmm. and some aspects that were not a positive match for you but in the attention of what was the positive match you opened the door and got more of it that's what it feels like like to you isn't that what it feels like to you that she got way more than she bargained for you liked the beautiful you liked the sensual you mm -hmm. liked the appreciation of you there was so much of it that you did like right. but you didn't like the some of the other aspects of it right. so we would like to submit to you that this person represents your contrasting environment at large because within every particle of everything is wanted and unwanted mm -hmm. now in what you who is a avid student of what we teach and have been for many years what you would think that what that we are saying we're going to clarify this just a little bit 
but you might say that in a perfect world you would extract only from another the parts that you want and we would say in a vibrationally accurate world in a vibrationally deliberate world mm -hmm. it is that way so how do you think you are going to become in terms of co-creating and relationships really vibrationally accurate about what you want <laughs> oh yeah sifting through the contrast and and isn't that contrast important for the clarity it is so so we can feel you all at ease with all of that mm -hmm. and and so now this is the piece that we really want you to hear okay. don't come away from this feeling guarded mm -hmm. come away from this feeling more knowing come away from this feeling sure of who you are not less sure of who you are that's the only ripple in your vibration because there are plenty of those for you to sift and find you see mm -hmm. it's not about missing something it's about clarifying something so we would like to say to you that this experience was more about bringing clarification to you about many more things that are in your vortex than about the subject of relationships okay. did you hear that I did much much more clarification in that exposure to that experience mm -hmm. the, uh, let's say it in an even stronger way that person did not come to you to give you clarity about how to find the perfect mate mm -hmm. that person came to you to give you clarity about how to know your place and hold your vibrational space in this world that is formulating around you you see that's big I have to tell you I just have a lot of appreciation for this work this is my fifth workshop and I've been listening to you for a few years I listen to you just pretty much every day a little bit of you every day and it has made amazing amazing changes well, it's and because it resonates with who you are and what you yeah, know it does but in some ways we love you so much <laughs> and we like you to listen and we like you to yeah. tune in but we don't want to be the condition that was you. my next question. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was my next thing. Of course, we are teachers of the laws of the universe. This law of attraction is so consistent that it will never get squirrely on you. You'll always know where you stand within it. Words don't teach. It's only life experience that teaches. Strange we offer so many words, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But then our words resonate with the life experience that you're living. And then you have that knowing and then off you go again. Right. Yeah. I think what my question was, though, is that you've talked a lot about do things that make you happy, do something that's fun. If it's listening to music, we want to clarify that further. Okay. We're not just saying occasionally do something that makes you happy. We want to say do only what makes you happy. Right. But then we want to add to that. Be happy at what you're doing. Right. But you because know, you have a choice in other words you keep thinking that when we say do only what makes you happy that seems like well then works out <laughs> can release me. that child right. never go to dinner with that person again but when we say do only what makes you happy what we really mean to say is be happy in what you do right prepare yourself vibrationally so that the universe is yielding to you things that are more potentially happy but you don't know, do anything out of obligation or right. justification or rationalization here it is mm -hmm. it's if you could release your need to control the opinion that others have of you mm -hmm. oh that's so big or seeking approval from others well that's what we're talking about I will be this way because I'm trying to control your view of me so since I know what you think I will only expose the parts of me that mesh with what you need me to be because your approval of me matters and we say that'll make you crazy because everybody's got a different vantage point and they all want different things from you most of the world is living a very conditional love and you all have let them train you to try to conform to the conditions that they need have you noticed it mm -hmm. have you ever had a person in your life that you really wanted to please and so you did and then another person in your life also wanted you to please them but they wanted different things from you and so you just did your best to never get them both in the same room at the same time. 
because that's where it goes bad. Right. Well, now multiply it by all the people in your life. In other words, you really got to give that up. It's what keeps people from their joy more than all other things put together. You came into this experience and you sought approval because it's nice to be around people who are happy. And you found that when you behaved this way, they were more happy. And when you behaved that way, they were less happy. And so for a while you tried to please them until you found out they were fickle and that what you were doing wasn't the reason that they were happy or not happy. And so when you discover that the way you feel is about your alignment with who you are, it's your alignment with source. As you get into that awareness of that guidance, then you can be unconditionally happy, which means there are a lot of people around you that are going to have to adjust. But what usually happens is because all of you want to love, all of you are innately those who do love. And when someone who you love is happy, you usually feel good. And so demonstrate to everybody that you care about that you are happy by being happy and watch how much less micromanaging they do because so much of their micromanaging is in trying to make it better for you or for the whole you see we like how it's all turning out don't you i love it i do i absolutely yeah. love it and you say you don't want us to I might not be using the exact words, but not to depend on you so much. But when I do listen to you, that's one thing that I really enjoy because I hear something different every single time. It's the same answer, but it reaches me in a way that just says, oh yeah, I didn't think about it that way. It's always the same answer. It's always the same answer, but it applies to the various parts of who I am. And Whether after a while, you'll have the formula down. Start with the things that are easy and let the universe demonstrate to you your alignment. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, you can find alignment about everything. And then you will be the all powerful being that you are. Yeah. And what your quest is, is joy. That's what's at the heart of everything that you are seeking is joy. Mm -hmm. The basis of your life is absolute freedom. You are so free. You can choose bondage your quest. The reason that you are here, what you are after your goal, what you live for is joy. And the result of that will be eternal expansion. But we can say this to you in another way. Eternal expansion is yours no matter what. The joy part is optional, you say. Mm -hmm. But why would you deprive yourself of the joy that we are all feeling now in your expansion? Do you get that? Yep. Life is causing you to expand. This combination of thoughts, minds, desires, beliefs, conversation has never been before into all of the universe. There has been extensive expansion as a result of this collaborative conversation. We are over the moon about it. In other words, the exhilaration that we feel. Your happiness about it is optional. You get to choose right. whether you're overwhelmed or whether you're in alignment or whether you got a little bit of it. You get to choose all of it. The basis of life is freedom. The reason for life is joy. The result of life is never ending expansion. And once you get into that rhythm, then you've got it. Enough? Enough. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah.